Easy guys, welcome to Fisto Gaming. I'm Mephisto, and this is Planet Side 2. I'm going to be doing a light like, infantry review uh, for you guys today, and um, talking about three different scopes: uh, the iron sights, your reflex sights, and your night vision scope. There is plenty of other zoom scopes, but um, these are the three which I'm using for my jetpack playstyle, um, jumping up around in facilities and flanking the enemies at close range to medium range. So there's three different factions. Um, I'm running with the new conglomerate here. Um, let's talk about the different factions and different perks because they will affect how you play your uh, your light assault class. So the NC here um, has a lowest rate of fire, the highest damage per bullet, the highest vertical recoil though. Um, it also suffers from bullet drop. Um, has short full auto capabilities before the cone of fire widens. So you won't get a burst damage. You'll be looking at quick controlled burst um, accuracy because your damage uh, your bullets are bullet rate is slower but your damage output is better this is the Vanu Sovereignty the one I've been mucking around recently since the wipe and um, I haven't got any much certs in this so I'm using the iron sights but um, the Vanu Sovereignty gets a medium rate of fire and medium damage it's kind of your level middle playing field between the three different factions it has no bullet drop but um, the damage is reduced at a long range distance because um, it uses energy packs um, it gets a very fast reload, um, which I'll show you in a second, and um, has a lower vertical recoil with increased horizontal recoil. Um, so using the, using your jetpacks um, to get around the map and uh, get you into positions sneakily to take down other players is a heavy assault here. A lot of armour and very hard hitting, but usually 7 out of 10 times they would get you to jump on you, but using your jetpacks to get into position and taking them out is uh, brilliant and get into sneaky positions like this. But let's talk about the TR quickly. Heavy tanks, the fine. TR, I haven't actually played it, so um, this is information which I've researched, um, not that I've tested. Uh, the TR has the highest rate of fire, the lowest damage per bullet, the highest number of bullets per magazine, and a moderate vertical recoil and some horizontal recoil. It does have bullet drop and can fire full auto for longer before the code of fire becomes hindrance. So it's a very good. Just one thing to say: if you're on a quad bike, don't have your headlights on because you're just lighting yourself up for a death. Uh, push the help button, turn your light lights off. Don't do that. Um, yeah, so that's you can get into nice sneaky hiding positions with your jetpacks. So you don't have to worry about getting stuck. You can just boost out. But when you do land with your jetpacks, it's going to take you right to get your uh, feet on the ground and get your aim off. So I suffered there a little bit to a uh, hard hitting infiltrator. Here's another guy. Oh, he's, uh, the amount of times I've died from uh, from being hit by quad bikes and burst damage. That was a nice kill for him. We'll give him that one. But, um, yeah, sitting the back a little bit and taking some long shots, taking your time, a bit of patience um, is required with the light assault because you are a light assault. You're not heavy, you don't have a lot of armour and you will go down quite quickly. Um, depending on which class you got, you get uh, different capabilities for long range. The Vanu has uh, slightly reduced damage at long range, but you can still kick out a lot of damage against infiltrators. That's guide stealth there. But I always make sure that before I start running out into the open, um, make sure that you've cleared the area, got a bit of backup, plan a route where you want to head off to. Um, I'm going to try and get into a flanking position before I start running and gunning uh, probably nip up top actually and then we'll go down the stairs and see if we can take some guys down that's their spawn point over the right hand side so you don't want to run across there much straight away let's see if we can distract the uh, other team other faction and create a, create a bit of a time for our guys to get in from the bottom let's do that now see that heavier soul lit up like a Christmas tree there in the red um, don't they use that in night time and it's like it's like a beacon kill me but, um, there's another one there shield up and look how hard he's hitting me that's um, the light assault is probably your biggest nemesis as the light uh, the heavy assault is your biggest nemesis as the light assault but let's have a look at the different uh, just the reflex scope you can see it's a lot easier for spotting um, stealth infiltrators because you don't have your big iron sights up and uh, this used to be five certs uh, back when I was playing this at the Duke of Plummer. it's now 96 certs and um, they've said with the re recent map and the server wipe that 
the sets now are going to be more like they are like launch, so I wouldn't expect much to change. It does take a long time to get this. 96 sets is a long time, um, but it is a great. It is a great scope. It's very quick fire, and you can see, and it can take people down a lot quicker than uh, the other scopes that you'll be looking at. You're always going to have problems with things like maxes and stuff like that with heavy armor, but you do get C4 and stuff like that for the light assault. But the jetpacks is the main plus. Um, for the light assault, getting into these sort of positions on top of buildings where getting those kills you wouldn't normally get to um, coming from different approach vectors that they're not being watched um, but obviously the snipers love you as a, <laughs> as a light assault running around like a noob up on buildings you're just a big target for them and uh, yeah they'll, they'll shoot at you all day so be aware of that using the reflex light and your jump packs get a lot of kills, get in, out and then boost away get out of the fray and move along. Here's the third scape I wanted to show you. This is the night scape and it's actually a two times at this point. Um, with the recent wipe they've changed the amount of certs it costs. It now costs 42 certs so they've upped that. But you can see when I zoom in my field of view and my um, my range of view has been reduced. It blacks out after a while and when I zoom back out it will show me the mountains in the background. So it is reducing your, uh, your line of vision but um, you're lighting things up and for taking out uh, facilities like this it's brilliant um, even if you're a squad leader as well you can you can mark people up spot people get into a good position with your jetpacks for a spawn beacon and uh, sit back a little bit and take people out um, I did say it was a two times scope it's now they've changed it just to a normal zoom scope so it's, it won't be an extra zoom on it but um, it still has the night vision which is great you can see it lighting up things, taking some long shots here. Makes it a lot easier. And you do get, you do get a lot of kills with this. In fact, I was, when I first picked this bad boy up, I was, I was getting a lot of kills. Probably more than my reflex site for when you're approaching uh, facilities like this. But when you want to get into the nitty gritty and get and start using your um, jetpacks in close combat and uh, getting up, up the levels of the thing, you reflex site would probably be better. Um, just because it's a quicker running gun when you get onto the top levels they're quite compact I'm going to show you that now, let's just um, get up here and show you how to flank enemies uh, how you can flank enemies that aren't expecting your approach see the reflex sight would have been better then, less zoom but getting in and out, back up and then up out, out of sight being a bit sneaky and having a bit of patience playing almost like an infiltrator class um, you don't want to run into a big heavy assault or a max or a lot of people head on um, you don't want to be caught with your pants down so make sure you take your time get those kills and clear the facility um, without them knowing you're really there or where you are uh, more importantly because you're, you're getting access with the light class to areas of the map that others aren't so let's, you've got to use them and <laughs> once you played the light assault and using jetpacks, playing another class although they have some brilliant features it's quite annoying um, fighting against them but yeah you can take down a, a whole top and we just take the facility here and um, and want, want, want another base for the team which helps you set up quite quickly one thing to mention is the light assault does share the same start weapon as the engineer so if you're setting up your weapon and your scopes you'll be able to use them with the engineer as well which is great for setting up using your ammo packs you'll get about 10, 10 xp for every time someone uh, picks up your uh, ammo packs with your engineer using the jetpacks to take these kills there against heavy assaults usually 7 out of 10 chance I reckon of survival <laughs> against a uh, against the heavier cell but you can, even with the iron sights you're kicking out a lot of damage and you do get two different types of ammo you can set it to as the lighter cell one for long range one for short range so the short range one you'll be getting the extra you'll be getting a decreased uh, bullet speed but more damage so you can use that with your tripefaction choice to maximize your effectiveness anyway that's planet side 2 that's the lighter cell I will be doing other guides on the d other classes rate comment subscribe if you like my work thanks boys Thanks for coming.